We are here this morning because we have six sea turtles that are ready for release and they were cold stuns, which means that they came in because the water temperatures dropped a little too much and they got kind of hypothermic in essence. Sea turtles, like all reptiles, are cold-blooded, which means that their body temperature is completely regulated by the environment that they're in. So what happens with the sea turtles is that if the water temperatures drop suddenly, their body temperature drops and they just basically stop all but the most basic function. So they still breathe, they're still kind of floating around and they tend to stay at the surface. So then what happens at that point is that wind currents push them onto the beach, into the marshes. So this is a, a phenomenon that happens every year in North Carolina. And this year we saw about 80 sea turtles come in. We have seen the times up to over 900. So the number is really variable. We never know what to expect. The way our geography is, the sea turtles come into the sounds to feed in the summer, so they're mostly juveniles. They're foraging in the sound, and then there's actually very few inlets that let them get out. So when the water temperatures drop, they're essentially kind of stuck. And up in the northern part of the state, we have a really great relationship with a volunteer group called NEST, and they take care of sea turtles on the beach. So they've got a bunch of volunteers that go out when we expect these cold suns, and they actually go out and look for these turtles on all the beaches and around the margins of the sand. So when we had these turtles and they were medically cleared and all ready to go, I contacted my friends at OSEARCH to see if, hey, any chance you can take some turtles with you when you leave port? I mean, we really are super dependent on the assistance of other people and other groups and organizations in rehabbing these sea turtles. 